everybody, this is Miles Luigi welcoming you back to Let's Play Mario Gives Up 2. Now I believe this is supposed to be a shortcut, which means the level Luigi's on probably leads to the level where Mario's currently at. So I guess the brothers are going to converge back together because we're actually going to go back to... <sighs> well, it shouldn't be as bad. We are going to go back to kind of sort of think, except we're going to go for the secret exit, and I say it shouldn't be as bad because I saw the keyhole in the level, which means the only part I have to do is to find the key, and the hellish part of the level is far into the level. Uh, well, I'll be back once I find the key. Alright. I have a plan. I noticed earlier, like when I first got on the level, oh, there's ice blocks at the beginning. I wonder if I should dig a fire floor there. Naturally. Because, you know, kind of sort of think, oh, I saw ice blocks at the beginning of the level right here. <sighs> I don't want to lose any of these power ups because last thing I know, I'm going to end up going through a big fire floor cape switcheroo phase next time. Anyway, we're in new territory now, or I actually don't know what the way it's us. Oh wow, did that guy just give a, uh, <laughs> a friendly face? Yeah, he did, totally. He's like, yeah, I know, we're, we're totally friendly. Come on, come over here. <laughs> I felt like I was a character from Jackass doing that, and well, I hope I don't need that fire floor anymore. I shouldn't, actually. Uh... Where does this drop me? Okay, it dropped me exactly where I need to go. Three. I remember all the doors, one, two, three, four, and five, all had like a pipe coming out of them, so I didn't know if I had like find a specific pipe or not. But uh, we're back in the big crusher room where you have the hopping potable is really annoying. And the annoying part is exactly this that I'm showing off right here. I don't know why I had to show it off, because any seasoned Mario player should know if you stop on any of the remaining um, uh, pieces of fire, you kind of get burnt to a crisp. Ah! God! How are you joking me?! Well, try to. That's so much better. The key has to actually collide with the keyhole, which results in a hilarity. Patu! Well, what does Patu lead you to? To a switch palace? I don't see anywhere else where this could go. It's either a switch palace or a pipe. Um. Alright. Luigi's gonna bring us to Football Sunday! Football Sunday is flooded today, kids. <coughs> Find the green switch? You better, or else you can't get a cool secret. It's something you will like, yes, you will like it. Ooh, I wonder if it's the boomerang power-up that was supposed to be in Mario Gives Up 1. <laughs> but is it? Is this a joke that football's flooded? Was there a football game that happened around the time... Gosh, darn it all. A football game that happened around the time Mario Gives Up 2 is in development that was really, really flooded? I think that's actually a possibility thinking about uh, football games. Forgot exactly when it happened. Ugh! God damn it, football. Moving on to my point. There was a football game, I forgot exactly which, where it was played or by which teams, but the part I remember about it is that it was so uh, <laughs> muddy on the field, by the way, Yoshi Disintegration Field, it was so muddy on the field that uh, during one of the punts during the game, uh, the ball literally got stuck in the mud. Um, I completely forgot who was playing in the game, or where it took place, other than it was just an extremely, extremely muddy game. Like, it was a, well, you kind of have to run the ball now, <laughs> there's no way you're going to be throwing in this garbage. Uh, but I'm wondering if this level was inspired by that specific football game. I forgot when that football game happened. Maybe it happened in 2011, and I don't know. I'd like an answer to this to any football veteran, somebody who knows quite a bit more about football than me, actually. All right, with that said, that gets us to our midway point. All right, so now we're just going to have to continue using the charging chucks. Obviously, the point of the theme, Football Sunday, is that we're going to go against a lot of charging chucks. Get to see where the green switch palace has helped us. Well, I suppose it helps us right here because we don't have to go in that water at all. <laughs> and I feel like I'm playing Castlevania 2 for a second. I'm like, I wonder if this water is going to be like the uh, poisonous swamp water in Castlevania 2 that drains your health slowly. It kind of looks like it to me. Instead, I think that either takes me straight to the exit or gives me a secret exit. I don't know. Uh, there's a message note block. Why did you place a message note block after the goal? Uh, Cypher, you... Well, at least we get another shot at this bonus game. Um, I can... Ah, oh, damn it all! 
uh, for a second I'm like, I could foresee being a cape really useful here. And the first thing I do, first thing I do, first thing I do is botch it before I can even get the second one up, which means I only get one prize. Uh, botching bonus games? That must be a Miles Luigi tradition. Uh, okay, we're gonna figure- Okay, this stealth level doesn't have a secret exit, but I really, really, really want to know what that message note block says. <laughs> What mysteries await us in the other pipe that I should have got? A 3-up moon and power-ups? Well, other than it being quite deep into the level, that's actually a really nice reward. <laughs> in a sense, this is the uh, super difficult top secret area. You think you can get yourself through a lot of foop group of football players? Yeah. Yeah, and then try to keep the power-ups. That's also a problem. 22! I'm still really curious what that message note block says. Maybe I should moon jump over the goal? Actually, 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 it's been so long since I've tried a moon jump shenanigan. Why the hell not? Alright, so first off, back out of danger's way, I am going to look up the moon jump code and... In the spirit of the last time moon jump's ever been used, you know, any one of my videos, I'll name it the exact same thing Evil Pop Turt named it. <laughs> it Really doesn't matter, does it? Woohoo! Hopefully we can actually go over the goal. Oh gosh, that's actually might be a problem. Um, if Cypher set the goal to just go off and I can't fly over it, then there's almost no point. Okay, I'm really hot about the sky. Uh, I would have to. Okay, I would have to go underneath all this crap. Don't even care. Don't even care. I want to read this message note block for Christ's sake. Ah! What does the message note block say? For all I know, it's gonna say, "No, Miles Luigi, you're a cheater for turning on fucking moon jump." All right, come on, come on, come on, get underneath the platform. There we go. There. We go. Okay, maybe I should save state once I get underneath the platform. Cause it's like we're cheating anyway. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Now, what does this say? For Christ's sakes, did you feed your red Yoshi to an adult? If not, he will turn into a prophet. The Yoshi's will reveal against you eventually. I think I just broke something. So, uh, there's a red Yoshi in this level? Uh, this level warrants further investigation, if you ask me. First off, um, let's turn off <laughs> Moon Jump. Um, maybe I should go through this level again, figuring it out, if I can get to that red Yoshi or now, if I need another... God damn it all! Oh, should I just take that? I think I'm just gonna take that for now, because I've cheated enough today! <laughs> what is this message note block says? Oh, something you probably shouldn't read, Miles Luigi. Uh, football Sunday is going to continue on, everyone, as I figure out if I can get to this red Yoshi. Go, Luigi, go! Well, the three-up moon disappears the moment we come here. What happens if we fall back? Okay, that just takes us back to there. Which, of course, we come back here, obviously. So yeah, this is, in true essence, a top secret area that's just kind of difficult to get to. I may want to remember this area for later on. But what of the Yoshi? Uh, maybe I continue on this level? I definitely saw something up there. Uh, <sighs> do I need to reactivate Moon Jump or is there other... Hmm. If I can find a P-Switch in this level, that would do it, actually. As a... Gosh, darn it all, Cypher. You and your mysteries. Load state, because this takes me back up to this pipe. Thank you. Maybe I could just glide from here. Otherwise, I know there's a block that I can't press unless I hit a P-switch first. And I haven't seen a P-switch in this level yet. Gliding! And we don't even see the platform now. I'd agree with you, Luigi. Slide of, uh... Slide of defeat. Now, if I could fly, this would make everything so much easier. But we have a mystery on our hands! I plan on either solving it or running into a dead end, whichever comes first. You know, something I realized is I kind of got really far into the level, I realized, wait, I can start select all the level, yeah, that transfers me to the other brother, but it actually leaves us, hold for it, hold for it, at the midway point, which means for fight I don't clear the level, I'm actually stuck at this midway point, and I'd have to go clear the level if I wanted to explore earlier on, but, if I wanted to utilize this as a top secret area, I'm doing it perfectly. Oh, you piece of, I hate football trucks so much right now. That's just cruel. They put the P-switch there, so you need a block that gives you a vine that gets you the P-switch. It's like needing to eat the pie in the first place to get the pie. Uh, the only thing I could think of that, uh, 
Well, there's the Yoshi disintegration block before, so I can't hop off a of Yoshi to do this. Um, why is it so frickin' slippery? God damn it all! Let's just re-enter the level, reevaluate our situation, and see if there's anything I can do about this. Unless this Yoshi disintegration field is a fake. I don't think it is, though. So I'm gonna level very improbable. The only thing I can think of, maybe jumping off one of the charging chucks. But I don't see any other freaking way to get up here because you need the P switch, and the P switch to get up here is up there. Oh, what if I put a P switch in my inventory? Now that's super demo world strategizing right there. What if there's a P switch in my inventory? That would just be the solution to all of our problems. Put the P switch in our inventory so we don't have to find it in the freaking level once I enter. Unless I could use the Koopa shell. Koopa shell hopping? Well, I can't do that anymore. Fudge! Fudge! <laughs> I think I found our solution! I need to find the correct pipe! Why didn't I notice that before? Okay, let's take the Koopa Shell, because that's the only thing we're given at this point, and find this pipe. What if it's that pipe? Also, that was dumb! I got this game figured out. I got this game figured out. Maybe I do. That looks like something I can make. Also, that motion is actually useful to me now. Okay, going back, trying again. Alright, so we want P-Wing speed to do this, from what I'm seeing also. In case you didn't notice, the ground is slippery. Aw, oh, damn it, I didn't achieve P-Wing speed. Yeah, you definitely need the P-Wing speed there. Slippery ground makes it a little difficult to achieve P-Wing speed, though. Alright, let's try that again. Maybe we'll... First, we'll achieve P-Wing speed in this run-up area here. Um, I don't know if the hill is interfering with me or not. But... I... Try to think of different reactions each time I get hit. That's hilarious and funny, and I can't think of anything other than to say. Ah! P wing speed go. Yes! Now I don't even care if there's a pipe that actually leads you to here, or... Did I make it to the other side or something? Oh, at least the green switch palace is finally playing a role. But I feel like it was... You're supposed to find a pipe that takes you to this pipe. Let's see. Yeah. So, I... Sequence broke? Possibly. Well, it's funny. I used this P-switch to get up to here. <laughs> From double... Okay, safe state. This I have to show off. Just how incredibly dumb this potentially is. Okay, so here we go. We have our friend the P-switch. First off, screw you, Koopa Poopa layers. We hit the P-switch, and look, now we have a vine that goes up. What the... Okay. Maybe if I actually understand the crook... Maybe I could climb up. No, I can't. Maybe if I understood the correct sequence of events instead of what the I just did... Oh, now I understand why the P-switch is there. Maybe that's a placebo. <laughs> Alright, down into the pit we go, where we can finally enter this pipe. Will this take us to our mystery of the... an underwater level? Uh, this underwater level actually, in a way, kind of reminds me of Soda Lake. Now, the only thing it needs is a uh, Torpedo Ted. <laughs> Don't ask me why, it's urchins and cheap sheeps. It just reminds me of Soda Lake. Maybe it's because you have to do some ridiculous things to get here, or scream your head off, like I do too damn often. Ah, I'll admit I'm trying, but this ROM hack, this ROM hack is so inducive of screaming your head off so far. Uh, anyway, anyway, besides screaming your head off, apparently if you want to get the three coins of the level, you do have to come here for the one up. There we go. Get rid of all these enemies, get past the urchin. I wonder if there's a secret over there. Uh, probably not, unless it's one of those Donkey Kong Country things where you just go into the wall randomly and it's like, Hey, here's a secret for you for going into the wall! Congratulations! <laughs> There's a lot of open space here, which is linking me to... Oh, there! Red Yoshi! Hello, Red Yoshi! Uh, maybe if I didn't spend so much time killing enemies, I could have, uh... What the hell is that urchin doing here? <laughs> that was a fast boot and he's like, I'm gonna stop you from getting this, Red Yoshi! And that takes us to the message note block, where, um... Did you feed your red Yoshi to an adult? If not, he will turn into your prophet. The Yoshis will rebel against you eventually. Uh, damn, I suppose you're supposed to feed the red Yoshi, because otherwise he disappears into a one-up there. 
Well, the Red Yoshi doesn't do anything for you other than spit fireballs, so unless there's actually a situation... Actually, go back. Damn it, that's not far enough back. Uh, space time, rewind! Okay. Uh, I just realized something. I wanted to use a Yoshi for sequence breaking, and I could have used a green Yoshi for this potential sequence breaking, but I figured, eh, before I try that, can you eat this thing? Probably can't, you would have eaten it by now. Uh, why don't we just use the red Yoshi for sequence break potential? Also, son of a cheap cheap. <laughs> I, I should start using that swear more often. Um, well, damn, I, I killed so many of the freaking cheap cheese with the fire flower! Oh, well, this was a dumb idea. Well, why don't I just go get a green Yoshi as before it doesn't make a difference what Yoshi color I get? I want Yoshi dying. Actually, can I feed him footballs? Oh my gosh, Yoshi's gonna go on a diet of footballs! Alright, so we gotta make sure we line the- Yes, Yoshi's gonna go on a diet of footballs. <laughs> oh, sc uh, screw you, charging Chuck, going past the goal line, getting a touchdown. <sighs> no, you have to get a two-point conversion or else you're not gonna tie the game and you're gonna lose. Yeah, that's right, and your two-point conversion failed. Haha. <laughs> See, that's what you get for being eight points down in the fourth quarter. Well, I suppose. First get the touchdown. Then get the two-point conversion. Two-point conversion failed. Darn it! We lost! Because there's only five seconds left on the clock. Unless the other team fumbles the ball during the kickoff, which they're not going to do. Probably. It's probably happened to football before. <laughs> five seconds left on the clock. Here's the kickoff. It doesn't mean anything. He fumbled! Yeah, there's a touchdown! Ah! You know, one of those plays. All right. Mario's going to actually go into the cave that's supposed to be Luigi's cave with Red Yoshi for a specific reason. In the, uh... It's not pronounced Lavalicious, but I'm going to call it Lavalicious. Um, Lavisky? Laviscus. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe I pronounced it right there, Laviscus. Someone brought up the idea, maybe I could sequence break the level by bringing Yoshi in it, and then hopping right away. Which, as you know, since I'm a, I am love Metroid games and I love sequence breaking, I figured, why not go for it and try it? Actually, there's a Yoshi disintegration field at the beginning of the level, so that idea doesn't work at all. <laughs> Cypher thought about it, it would probably work given the architecture of this level. I could turn on Moon Jump. <laughs> there's no fun in sequence breaking if you cheat to do the sequence break. Maybe if you're playing one of the Metroid Prime games, maybe it's fun to sequence break, but... I I'm specifically, uh... You didn't actually need to cheat to do this sequence break, but Metroid Prime 2, it was significantly easier. I forgot exactly where it is. I think uh, you have to, like, enable, like, I think it is literally Moon Jump in a specific area of the Dark World in Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Uh, where does this take me? Oh, damn, where the hell am I going? I think I was headed towards TikTok or the EGAD level. <laughs> I was branching much Metroid Prime 2. You could do a normal Dark Suit run in Metroid Prime 2, and that's one of my, uh, I, that's one of my favorite runs, just because you. you uh, yeah, but it's significantly easier to do with cheats because you have to do a morph ball hop at a specific point and it's extremely difficult to do. And you're under a time limit because you're in the dark world and your energy's draining and it's like, I could either have like one or two attempts and have to run a room back and let my energy restore which takes like four to five minutes or I could just turn on moon jump, do this one part of the secrets prick and I was never good at... Oh gosh. Watch a video on it instead of me trying to explain it. Uh, one more level for today. It'll be two, <laughs> which makes me think that we're going to be, this music again, playing as Yoshi, eating things, and then spitting out fireballs, which is funny because uh, that's exactly what I'm playing as right now. I'm playing as the Yoshi that spits out fireballs. However, I have to be eating a Koopa to spit out the fireballs. But on the bright side, Yoshi is a very valuable pal against enemies we can eat at the very least. Um, Now this is a pattern I've sung... Son. <laughs> now I'm correcting my own mispronunciations. I don't even need Kirito or any scene. So far, a lot of Mario gives up too, which is, uh. Thank you, Yoshi. I can really use this mushroom. Uh, waterfalls and pipes. And that's definitely not foreign to Mario games to have waterfalls and pipes and configurations like this. I just have seen it a lot more than normal. <laughs> uh, I guess we are in the abandoned pipe fields of the Mushroom Kingdom, which, uh, you'd think Mario would be more accustomed to going to, but. Due to uh, the prosperous Mushroom Kingdom, a lot of enemies have moved in to either rent or buy uh, houses. The only thing we aren't seeing, though, is like those houses under construction. But the pipes are there, you know, because it's the abandoned pipe field. <laughs> there we go. Ah, oh, fun times, fun times. But otherwise, you have these pipe formations, the water flowing, and you have to wonder who started water flowing. I died to the same spot again. Who started the water?
There we go. So one day, I guess the commissioner for the Mushroom Kingdom pub. Oh, damn, a poison mushroom. Oh, I fell for another one. The commissioner, or whoever works for Mushroom Kingdom Public Works, decide, you know, we have this abandoned pipe field over here. We should turn on the water everywhere and create water fountains, and it'd be like a beautiful national treasure that shows off the Mushroom Kingdom's um, dedication to its plumbing. You'd imagine the Mushroom Kingdom with both Mario and its um, exuberant amount of pipes would have a very good uh, plumbing system. Matter of fact, dude, uh, since we know there's a lot of underground caves in the Mushroom Kingdom, as evidenced by the Mario games, one could conceivably say, Oh god, I want this Yoshi back, so... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's been taking all of my hits. He's like a tank for me. <laughs> with all the beautiful caves, dude, the best real-life analogy was a city with, like, deep, elaborate sewer pipes. I want to say it was London, but I might be remembering that wrong. But the Mushroom Kingdom, basically, huge, gigantic underground uh, system. Um... They must do a good job policing that underground system, right? Maybe not. It's always full of enemies whenever Mario goes into one. <laughs> this is where all the Mushroom Kingdom gangs and hooligans hang out. We hang out in the caves, listen to the fat beats, do 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 And, you know, of course, pass around mushrooms and stuff like that. It all happens in the Mushroom Kingdom caves. And they use elaborate pipe systems to keep themselves hidden. And all that good stuff! It would actually be a nightmare to the Mushroom Kingdom police, to tell you the truth, to have an elaborate underground system such as the Mushroom Kingdoms. Oh, is there a... I'm willing to betcha there's a stupid P-Switch up here. Of course, the block you used to get to the P-Switch, <laughs> of course, is the where you would end up going if you got the P-Switch in the first place. Also, holy crud, you can eat that uh, thing. I've had so much trouble eating those things because Yoshi's tongue got, like... Circumcised here, it's so short. Why is your tongue so short, Yoshi? Uh, maybe he was sick of having a long tongue or being made fun of to have a long tongue. You know, some people don't like being tall and they're like, I want to be short, and the short person's like, Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, you want to be short? Try living in my shoes. And the tall person's like, Well, try living in my shoes. I, I don't have this problem because I'm literally six foot tall. Uh, can't talk about Mario, he's usually associated with being short. Anyway, we're at 97 points, we just got through p two, and that takes us to... Da -da -da -dong, Land of the Dead 1. Uh, I wonder if that's in any way, shape, or form related to typing of the Dead 1. <laughs> that's actually quite interesting. Well, on the next episode of Let's Play Mario Gets Up 2, let's hope we don't run into any new shenanigans. A level like TikTok, I'm thinking maybe it'll be like TikTok talk in a very vertical level. Turn on moon jump. <laughs> let's not and say we didn't. It's funny, now that I think about that, just before we leave. One time, I told someone, I think this was either at school or not, they had an idea, and I'm like, let's not and say we didn't. And their reply to me was, but that would be being really honest. I'm like, yeah, let's not and say we didn't. It's being really honest. It's also ironic. Alright, next time, Mario gives up to TikTok and Land of the Dead 1. This has been Miles Luigi. Hey there. Hey there. Come closer. I'm going to kill you.